In her 20s, the artist Mary Perry Stone began expressing through her art what she felt about her times. An example is the oil painting, All for Money, which she exhibited at the ACA Gallery in New York City in 1939. As her daughter, I had the opportunity to gain an insight into some of her concerns during those times. Mary titled the painting, All for Money, for she felt the quest for profit lay behind most horrors and evils like war and fascism. She included in the painting the names of Rockefeller, Morgan, and Dulles as examples of American pro-fascists who benefited supporting Hitler, Mussolini, and Franco. In 1937, the American ambassador to Germany, William E. Dodd, had warned, a clique of U.S. industrialists is hell-bent to bring a fascist state to supplant our democratic government and is working closely with the fascist regime in Germany and Italy. In the painting, profit is represented by hands cupping dollar bills. One of the arms has a sleeve decorated with stars and stripes. There are additional references to wealth with her inclusion of banks, Wall Street, Fifth, and Park Avenue. Though there are no references to the Spanish Civil War in this painting, my mother did say she was deeply troubled by the triumph of fascism in Spain. She felt the war, which lasted from 1936 to 1939, was a testing ground for Hitler and Mussolini. Mary belonged to the New York City Artists' Union, and fellow members Paul Block, Edward Deo Jacobs, Douglas Taylor and Meredith Snyder Graham died fighting Franco and fascism in Spain. She admired Picasso's painting Guernica, which he did soon after the terror bombing of the city of Guernica in 1937 by German and Italian warplanes supporting Franco. Growing up with this painting, I was always fascinated by the striped concentration figure with a skull for its head. But I was surprised when my mother said she knew of the concentration camps during the 1930s. Historian Andrew Hemingway did say when Hitler came to power in 1933, camps were set up immediately to torture and imprison Hitler's political opponents. The acting police chief of Munich and head of Hitler's SS, Heinrich Himmler, announced the opening of Dachau as a concentration camp in a news conference on March 20, 1933. In 1935 in Germany, there were jingle warnings, Dear God, make me dumb, that I might not to Dachau come. Under and by the side of the concentration figure, Mary plays bones, while underneath the figure are other victims lying in a heap. Mary spoke about how she and others worried whether fascism could be stopped. In the upper part of the painting, there are not only lynch figures, but representations of the Klan, too. While the amount of lynchings in the United States had dropped dramatically during the 1930s, there were still 10 recorded lynchings per year. The black figures on the left of the painting are shown beaten down or on a chain gang, contrasting with the blue figures of the rich party. The word club is included as a reference to the Morocco and Stork clubs, popular New York hangouts for the wealthy and celebrities. Mary's empathy with the victims of war and other injustices, as well as her abhorrence of greed, continued to be evident in many of her other works throughout her artistic career.